Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Quantum Leap Futures Morning Leap session for June the 30th, uh, 2016. My name is Doug McKay. I'm the founder of Quantum Leap Futures. Each morning we get together in these live go-to sessions to take a look at the market macro to micro, the structure of the market, drill down to our targets and our trade levels and our hypotheses for the day. Uh, this is a subscription room, so if you're interested in checking us out, give, send me an email at quantumleapfutures at gmail.com. There's no website, there's no blog, this is not a commercial venture. We do this live each day, each morning, and then do live trading and analysis during the course of the day. Before we get going, please read through the disclaimer. Nobody at Quantum Leap is a certified trading advisor. We are retra retail traders operating within a self-organized learning environment. Past performance is not indicative of future results in any trades that you see in Quantum Leap are for education purposes only. Please trade your own risk metrics, your own trade plan, and your uh, your own plan. Okay, so let's uh, first take a look at um, the results from yesterday. All right, my computer wants to freeze up on me. Um, yesterday, our main hypothesis was a move up and then a rotation down and a move down uh, through uh, down to the 36 level, uh, maybe 3150. Uh, hypo 2 was a move down and then a slow grind up. And then hypo 3 was a push up, chop around, and then a push uh, higher up into that uh, 6950 area. Uh, hypo 3 is what basically uh, played out. We had a very uh, slow grind up. They're, these are tough days to uh, to trade because if you don't get the long early, uh, they basically give you very little opportunity to uh, get on board. So I didn't do much trading yesterday, uh, but that's okay. Uh, some sometimes we just have to sit on the sidelines. Uh, we had a very uh, uh, strong close. Uh, closed at the high of the day, and then in the ETH session, something we haven't seen for a while, they took it up another 10.5 points, uh, and we had a Globex high of uh, 20.74.75, uh, uh, so it was uh, it was an interesting uh, close, an interesting Globex. They've been moving it uh, pretty large during the Globex. Going to uh, check the news out. Um, we just had uh, unemployment claims came in just slightly higher than expected, 268 versus 267, and higher than previous at 259. Uh, some Canadian uh, news, but it really didn't move the market much. I mean, we moved up maybe uh, eight ticks, and that's about it. Uh, 945 uh, Eastern, we've got Chicago PMI. Uh, we've got natural gas storage. Uh, we have Great Britain uh, Governor Kearney speaking. That's going to be something to be uh, to watch out for with the Brexit. And it looks like uh, Brexit is going to go through, and they're starting their uh, their campaign for uh, the election for a new prime minister uh, since uh, Cameron is uh, stepping down. Uh, One thirty, we have FOMC uh, Bullard speaking. So we've got a fair amount of news today. So just. Uh, uh, keep that in mind. The other thing to uh, keep in mind that uh, tomorrow is a holiday in Canada, Monday in the U.S., so we are coming into a long weekend. Uh, I expect the trading to be light uh, and uh, a lot of people taking off uh, early, uh, late today at uh, some point in time this afternoon. Um, let's take a look and uh, just uh, bring in our basic candlestick chart. Each morning I like to start my day with a basic candlestick with a 9 EMA and a 20 SMA. Start with a monthly and start working my way down to see where we are within the different trends, uh, time frames. And uh, right now you can see that uh, we're in consolidation. End of uh, 2015, beginning of 2016, they violated the trend, got below the 9 and the 20, but they've taken it back and so far, other than moving down uh, you know, on the Brexit news, uh, we've been able to hold above the 9 and the 20 with a possible continuation of the trend on the monthly. On the weekly, uh, we had a trend going, and then uh, we violated the trend on the news, and they've taken it completely right back, and uh, we're back above the 9 and the 20, and getting a possible continuation on the weekly uh, trend upside. On the... Uh, 
Oops, missed the daily. On the daily, uh, same thing. We broke down and created this technical gap. They you know, closed the technical gap. And right now, we're trading between the uh, 20 SMA, which is at 71, and the, uh, the 9 EMA, which is at 54. And we're just chopping around in here right now. So basically consolidation. Don't know which way this is going to resolve itself. Going to the intraday, uh, you can see that we do have an upward trend. There is that naked cross down here at 2017, but I doubt we're going to see that uh, today. Uh, the trend is uh, certainly up. We did create a technical gap with a Mr. Sneaky who came back. I consider this gap uh, uh, closed because we came down to the 56, and then we bounce. Uh, so the trend is up on the four hour. On the one hour, uh, nice strong trend then we get uh, uh, you know a challenge and uh, test the 20 from above and we have bounced and now we're trying to get above the 9 right now um, so basically in a consolidation uh, on the one hour 30 minute same thing consolidation 15 minute uh, we have uh, rolled over we do have a naked cross above us here at uh, 2068 on the 15 minute and we just came down and closed one that we had right here at uh, 2063. But we are below the 9 in the 20, so, uh, you know, we have a possibility of a downward trend on the 15-minute. And then on the 5-minute, we have been in this downward trend. They tried to, uh, uh, to take it back. We're currently right now trying to hold the 9 in the 20 at the 2066.75. There's a naked cross up here at 2071.50 on the 5-minute. Uh, that's still open. And there's one down here at 2060. And I think that's really going to define uh, 2060 and a quarter. I think that's really going to define our range today. Uh, taking a look at the, uh, the structure, you know, We've, uh, we had our gap and go day uh, yesterday, which was our hypo three. And, uh, you know, we got back above the 42. We came down the low from uh, yesterday's RTH session was 42 and a quarter. So we accepted that uh, composite micro composite VPOC and traversed that uh, the whole distribution, this, uh, this uh, distribution zone, which goes from that 73 down to that uh, 2012.50 and tested that 73. Uh, had a high yesterday uh, in the Globex or today in, uh, in the Globex at 2074. So we couldn't break out above and hold above that 73. And now we've come back into this distribution zone, this blunt area of undetermined fair value. And we spent most of yesterday inside of the wick from Friday. Uh, currently we're trading 67. Uh, my, uh, all my hypotheses today are going to be centered around the 73 and chop in, uh, in uh, the uh, distribution zone. And unless we get above 73, I'm expecting a very rotational day inside of this, uh, this distribution and probably you know, a, uh, a trade range between 42 and uh, and 61. If we get above 73, uh, that will change my uh, hypotheses to I push up into the 8150 uh, level and chop up in this distribution zone uh, in between the 95 and the 73. Um, we're back inside the micro composite VPOC uh, and the main distribution zone. We're back in that Gaussian distribution uh, uh, from the upper part of the double distribution from 2000, the last quarter of 2015. And that uh, microcomposite VPOC is centered, centered around 54.50. So I'm expecting uh, just a lot of chop in uh, this area. Taking a look at our overnight session, we opened up uh, at uh, 66.75. They had that big 10 and a quarter point move up and then failed to hold above that 73, came down, and then basically just went sideways, uh, you know, until uh, Asia, Asia uh, took us down, and then once uh, 
Europe opened, they took us right back up, and we chopped around, tried to get back above that 73. We couldn't, and we came down, and we're you know, basically right back in balance around the uh, Globex VPOC, which is at 67. Uh, 50. So taking our uh, numbers from uh, from the Globex session, we have an overnight high at 74.75. We have an overnight low down at 56.50. Our VPOC is currently, and it could shift, at 67.50. which is basically right at uh, the range high from yesterday. Now, 65 and a quarter is our critical mass. Uh, our month open is 2094. Our daily ATR is running at 2880. And if you take the 2094, take the daily range off, our critical mass is at 2065 and a quarter. So if we get below 2065 and a quarter, we could see com, uh, capitulation uh, from the uh, from the buyers, and they could step aside, and the sellers could take control and push this down down towards that 2042, uh, and uh, you know see critical mass get kicked in. Uh, our daily ATRs uh, on the upside, uh, we've got. Uh, off of the low overnight of 2056.50, our upside daily ATR target is 85 and a quarter, and our downside off of the high of 74.75 is uh, down at 2046. So we've got range uh, in the area that uh, uh, we're talking about, and I think critical mass is going to be uh, key on whether or not we go up and get above the 73 and chop around in the up, uh, upper distribution around that 81 or get uh, stay below the 73 get below critical mass and uh, come down and chop around inside of yesterday's uh, uh, range value areas don't mean much because uh, we had a trend day yesterday uh, so value is not uh, you know uh, de determined and uh, we shouldn't really uh, worry too much about the value area from yesterday. Basically, what I'm watching is uh, what's, uh, what's gone on overnight. We do have this uh, LVN right here at uh, 62 and a quarter. Uh, it's just below the 6375. Uh, that is going to be a trade area for me. Uh, you know, I'm going to use the 63 because we've got the VPOC just below at 61.75, so I want to be able to get short into that 61.75 uh, and get funded before I get to 62 uh, and a quarter. In fact, I'm going to move this up, and I am going to use the 63.75 uh, as my uh, trade area, and I want to be short uh, by the time we get below uh, the 63.50, so I've got room to get funded before we get to this uh, uh, this LVN here at 62 and a quarter. Uh, below that, there's another LVN down here <clears throat> at 59, but I don't think it's uh, <coughs> as important because that puts us inside uh, the range clearly and uh, below critical mass. So I'm really going to be watching the 5650, uh, which is the overnight low, and where the VPOC was before it uh, shifted into the cash close. Uh, so I will be anything below 63, I'm really targeting the overnight low uh, in this 5650 uh, area. And uh, uh, my next uh, support's going to come in here at 55 uh, at the midpoint and the, uh, the VWAP from yesterday. Below the 55, you want to be targeting the 5250. Uh, the Composite, you can see that between the RTH and the 24-hour, uh, we've got a you know basically a 10-point uh, you know uh, difference between the composite VPOC and the RTH VPOC. The RTH VPOC is down at 42. The, if we bring in the volume in the Globex as well, our composite VPOC shifts to 52.50. So I'm going to be targeting 
that 5250 uh, below the VWAP from yesterday. I'm actually going to use 5275 uh, because it's a little HVN here. And then below that, we've got the CLVN down at 49. So I'm going to be using 49. <clears throat> and then the LVN at 47.50. And then below that, I'd be looking for a move down to the range low from yesterday and back into the microcomposite VPOC and the RTH composite uh, VPOC and our magnet at 42. And then below the uh, 42, we don't need this, so let's get rid of this. Below the 42, we've got this uh, CLVN at 39 and a quarter. And then below that, we've got the half gap fill uh, still open from this gap zone right here. And then our weekly upside ATR, we've already broken through, so it really doesn't mean anything. So I'm just going to take it right off of the chart. And then we've got the uh, 3150 target. Uh, we've got the range low here at 29 with the naked uh, close uh, uh, from uh, two days ago, uh, right here at the 28 and a quarter. Uh, below that, we've got uh, 2675. Uh, 22. Our weekly ATR downside is 21. The key here is this 22.75. That's the microcomposite uh, uh, value area low. We get below that. I'm really looking for a push down into uh, the uh, 12.50 uh, area uh, with the target at 18 and a quarter and 13.75. I don't think we're going to get down there. I think we're going to have light uh, volume and uh, you know, uh, you know, short time frame traders in control, and we're going to get a lot of uh, rotations. Okay, to the upside, uh, 67 and a quarter. Obviously, uh, you know, our range high. A move above that. I'm looking. You know, even though we went up in the Globex to 74.75, uh, doesn't count for the naked VPOC and the naked close. Those have to be. Uh, you know, uh, taken out during the RTH. And then our key line in the sand is uh, still the same. It's at 73. Uh, if you want, you can shift it up to 74, 75. But I think uh, once we get above the 73, you can target the overnight high and target into, uh, you know, these three targets, the 76, 75 naked VPOC, 77 and a quarter uh, naked close, and 78, 50. Uh, and then above that, um, is it 78.50 or 78? I'm sorry, it is 78. Uh, and then above that, there really isn't much until we get up into this 81 and a quarter. Our daily ATR uh, is up here at 85 and a quarter. And then the uh, value area is 90.75. And above that, then you've got this 95 and a quarter, which is our next key resistance. And then, you know, above that, I'm looking for a move into the 2100s with uh, 2101.50. twenty one oh six area twenty one oh nine twenty one fifteen and uh, our uh, weekly upside ATR target which is up at twenty one uh, twenty one all right so let's uh, talk about hypotheses uh, my main hypothesis uh, is a push up and uh, somewhere between seventy three and seventy six finding uh, responsive sellers and a rotation down into the range from uh, yesterday and chopping in around the 61 to uh, 49 area and basically just uh, chopping back in this area as we uh, 
uh, mature the auction around 61. So main hypothesis is a <coughs> open auction just in range or just out of range, a push up, find responsive sellers between 73 and 78, and then a rotation back down into the range and a chop in the upper distribution of this uh, undetermined fair value between the uh, 49 and uh, the 61 and just uh, chopping. Uh, hypo 2 is a open auction uh, out of range or just in range and a move down, come down, take out the overnight low, find initiative buyers between 55 and 49 and then basically just chopping between the 73 and the 49 and just uh, uh, chopping. So the move, similar hypothesis, but the move, first move would be down and then finding buyers and just chopping. So hypo one is pop and rotate down uh, and chop. Hypo two is drop and then rotate up and chop. And then hypo uh, three is an open auction just out of range or just open auction in range and then a push down to 61, find uh, initiative buyers and then push up through the 73 and push up into the 81 and chop around between 73 and 85 and uh, chop around in this uh, upper distribution around the 78 uh, area. So that's hypo three. Hypo four is a open auction uh, in range or just out of range, a failure to break uh, above the 6970 area, a push down into the 49, chop around in the 49, and then get a push in continuation and travel the whole range of the uh, prior day and come down and chop around in this 42 with maybe a late day probe into uh, that gap zone. Uh, be uh, below us. If you look at the flex levels, uh, we don't have the gap zone put in for uh, the, the below us, but we we do have the gap zone that we uh, tested into that starts in the 64, uh, 63 area and goes up into that 89 area. So um, the, one of the hypos is a move up into this gap and chop around that 78. Um, but we also have a gap zone, gap zone now below us that will be put into the flex levels uh, later uh, below the 42 and above that uh, 29. So we have this gap zone as well with the half gap fill at around 36 and a quarter. So uh, taking a look at the uh, Keltner, You know, we're right below the uh, Keltner center line at 68 and a quarter. Um, a, if we hold below that, a push down to the lower Keltner line is going to take us down to 62. More likely by the time we get there, the lower Keltner line will be at 61.75. <coughs> if we get above the Keltner center line, a move up into the upper Keltner is going to take us up into the overnight high at 74.75 area. Um, real quick look at gold. Gold continues to uh, to chop around this uh, uh, 1326 area. We've uh, found balance. Uh, let me just expand this out here. We found balance here around the 1330. Uh, currently uh, trading the lower part of this distribution. Key line to watch for on gold is the 1312.50. Get below the 1312.50. I'd be looking for a bigger move down into the balance that we just broke out of on Brexit and uh, down into the 1286.60 level and possibly down to test the value area low down here at uh, 59.80. If we can hold above the 1312.50 uh, and look for them to gradually work their way back up into balance again between the 27 and the 30 level and possibly come up and test this current range uh, microcomposite value or microcomposite high up at 1340. Anything above 1340, I'd be looking for them to come and test this 56 uh, to 63 area again. This is uh, uh, you know some pretty severe uh, price rejection here, and uh, we're likely to come and test the 
uh, the upper side of this distribution zone and test into it to see if we can get above this fractal high at 1362.60. So that's going to complete our pre-market session. As always, trade well, trade safe, and we will catch you on the flip side.